Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with four rookies, permanent dark events and boy boy we uh, caught up to 11 or 12 by now so it is a actual problem. I'm still trying to get the last intel so that we can get the entirety of Africa. In case you have missed the last episodes we are done with uh, the suit mission uh, and finally got uh, the avatar suit. We now need to do one more mission, which is uh, the gateway with a lot of chrysalids. And we also need to school check an uh, codex. However, that will be difficult. Certainly not on a VIP mission, which is already short on time. We're definitely not going to do that. Here, we're just going to try to survive. In order to do that, I've brought Sonar and Sane with me. Um, we put a lot of blue screen rounds because we will need that. We got uh, the Ultrasonic Lure and two get, of get Out of Jail cards, a Shredstorm Cannon and a Blaster Launcher. And that's really what needs to be done. Grell and Universe will help us with it. It's a very difficult mission and potentially we're going to have the Chosen on top of it as well. So, wish me luck. This can hopefully only go in one way. Uh, mm, full success and getting everybody out. Let's jump into the mission. Alright, we just started. So we got the VIP with us. Long street, but also some high ground. 12 rounds to get up here. Hmm. That's like... How much? One, two, three, four. Holy shit, how many hit points is that? So four double moves. Um, that'll be a problem. But five double moves uh, because we can't take a straight line. Which means we have around seven rounds to fight. Six to be precise. Six rounds of fighting. And these guys here. Or just a heavy pack. Okay, we're starting without concealment, so this might be risky. We still got teamwork if need be. We got a sprint here. Okay. I take it we're safe for now. Not the easiest start, and it's a very tight and, and uh, dense environment, specifically behind this building. Like, there is this chasm here. This will be a slaughterhouse. I can already tell, because realistically, this all here is vision blocked, right? So the moment that we enter this area, hell will break loose. Can we still go a tiny bit further? Or is this triggering? I don't know. It's a dangerous game, Saiken. So Let's try it. Okay. Successful. Trying to get into the right positions here. You can already see when the fog of war is gone. There is one pack back there. And we just spotted out our first enemy pack. Two screen rounds here. No. Okay, careful. Don't want to go in too far because this here seems like I mentioned like an ultra packed area. Very good. Designated 
position. Good Lancer in half cover. Should be okay from what I'm seeing. Down to one HP. <laughs> I hate these situations. If we're missing, the guy, I, I will not forgive myself if we're missing because that can mean someone's unconscious and the whole mission goes sideways. Look, you're just starting to get completely paranoid if you're playing this game for a long period of time. 83% beans 1 and a 5. The mission is over. Of course I'm not going to let that happen. And at the end, the shot wasn't even wasted. It was not a great shot either. I hate the cover that they're having. This here could solve some of our problems, right? I think so. Might regret it a little bit later. For now it was a good move. Fifty-fifty on the officer, come on. There we go, that's my man. Oh my girl. Undying loyalty. Of course. So we got two really good shots. I think this should end his life. The zombie will move up, but I'm almost inclined to just throw this over here and let the lost start going into this direction. We know that there are three up here and I'm pretty sure around here will be more, so might as well just tag all of them. All right, more enemies. The zombie is fleeing. I don't know if that's a good or bad sign. Certainly the losts are taking the lure quite serious. And are moving up. Fantastic. Moving up. What do we have? Moving over here. Not a good position, okay.
I'd really hit anyone over there. You can hit uh, the the mech though. Which is great, because that thing needs to die. Pronto. Alright, nice little hit. Not a big fan of micro-missiles, specifically not if we're standing all the way up here. He currently can't do anything. This here looks like some of them are awkwardly, like, silently just standing there. This uh, could just be a faceless one. I will treat them as such for now because they are the only two civilians and they are just standing over there suspiciously. Shield bearer. Another one of uh, these un- Friendly Closing on target position now. Advents that are standing and waiting. So let's just mock him up a bit. Do we need a mimic beacon? This guy can't do anything, he will use shields. The loss are on our side. I need an execute. That's what I need. I'm not getting it though. I'm hearing stomping and glass just broke, so this here very much looks like there is a sector port right near this place right here Okay, and now it is remaining lots against these guys. We need to deal with the shield bearer. And the zombie at some point. Lots of lost have just started to burn. So they are only a nice distraction. I think almost all of them are are now gone. Although there are some down here and some up up on the roof. And this guy seems to be able to pull himself together. No, he can't. Really, fire seems to be their Achilles heel. Wow, this animation takes ages. All right, I get it, all of them are burning, but you don't need to animate every single one of them running around like a headless chicken. Good. To preserve the sanity of this, I will start taking some of these guys out. 
Elsewise the turns just take too long. If they are burning, if they are not doing anything anyways, might as well be consequent and take them off. Or at least take some of them off. They, the enemies still have enough options to take shots. Very good. So that gets rid of many of them. Reloading. Time to eliminate the Psy Zombie. Yes, please. I think it's a good time also to teamwork. We got two Mimic Beacons here. Eighty percent. Nah, we want to go for the Shield Bearer. I want that Execute, and I want it now. All right, go for it. Nice little shield remover. Good stuff. Don't need advanced team yet. We can take that next round when the sector pod or others are going to join us. There's the execution, of course, followed with more undying loyalty. The only loyalty here uh, seems to be the undying loyalty. I want to make unmistakably clear that we have zero zombie tolerance policy here at XCOM. Is that an execution? It seems like it. Cool. Cleared the field. Got us some more loss. Thank you. Now it's time to start uh, moving closer. Can afford maybe one more round of shooting. But other than the, uh, after that, we definitely need to get to the exit. All right, come on, come on. Good, we're seeing the first hits. That's what I'm talking about. Soften these high hit point targets up. Like, if there would be no tomorrow. Alright, our way up is where exactly? I think this is it, and then here. Which means... This should be a good position. The alternative is over here but you guys look too much like faceless ones and i hate faceless ones wow complete shocker no one ha would have thought that there is a sector port here oh no what are we going to do a sector port Is that really going to happen? Look at the range of this thing. Holy shit. The, uh, the Shredstorm Cannon is so good. Damn. That would be hit, hit, hit and shredding for a lot. And removal of cover. Okay. Plus action efficiency. We reload first. We then take the Shredstorm Cannon. Mm 
No, we want to get uh, mm, the cover down as well. I mentioned that we can afford one more round, right? This is that one more round. Advanced teamwork, yes please. Dual strike into a sector port. Into a shredded sector port is what I should say. Nice, so good. Good, we're bringing the pain, that is what we're here for, Sectorport needs to die. Two screen rounds, yes. Wait a second, we still got the Mimic Beacon, okay, we got that, good. Let's get the mech. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better... For a better outcome. Am I really afraid of that one guy? If, of course, we hit that shot here. We're saving the Mimic Beacon. Go for it time for aggression the more we can take away the faster we can move it was obvious right like no one is surprised at this point it's not like that anyone is uh, is sitting here wondering how could that happen how could we have not seen that that is a faceless one? At this point, pretty much everybody knew that it was a faceless one. Can we get... Can we get that guy... Need to move up. Position confirmed. Obvious thre uh, threats first. Faces one. Does less damage, but sucks having around. Specifically, specifically if uh, mm, you have a VIP in tow. But let's get here, that's the closest. We're saving quite a bit of movement. The P goes into cover. Okay, and we pulled two additional packs. That's unfortunate. All right, bye bye. Little loot. It was nice meeting you. Could get rid of him. Try at least starting to get rid of him. 
the Archons are a problem as well. Do we have enough firepower to go through all of that? It's a lot of hit points. By the way, this here is the second phase, this one. They are standing around him like flies and just wait for him to effectively blow his cover. Confirmed. The way out is more distraction and just really ignoring. Ignoring most of them whilst we're running out of here. I don't think that we have the firepower to really go through it. That being said, if the mutant moves up, we can at least eliminate them. Oh, surprise! The next face, who would have guessed? And again, a complete shocker. No one in their right mind would have thought that really is a face. Um, this one. All right, maybe beacon down. Luckily, all of that Overwatch stuff will now be gone thanks to another swarm i'm wondering if there is another way up there because the central section here seems quite full. There is a way up here. wondering why they always only hit for one point of damage. When I'm getting hit, they always hit like a truck. Four more turns. Moving up. Okay, let's first of all see how, how we're moving up, okay? VIP moves over. In a best case scenario, we can move and shoot. That won't be the case. Location confirmed. For all of us. Are we going to use the next mimic beacon? I think it's a sensible decision. This is the closest, so we can move through the building next turn. It's an exposed position, but with a Mimic Beacon I can 
justify that play. Alright. Go and look for that Mimic Beacon. In the meantime, let's get rid of some of the lots that will be standing in our way. Not many, because they are on our side at this point. The mutant has a grenade, so I think I would go for him. Crit could also one-shot him. Okay. Got to take pieces off the uh, off the field. Gonna need to reload soon. The archons are a big problem. There is no way of denying that. He's just shooting, and that's okay for now. Also, too many hit points to really do something meaningful. I sincerely hope. He will be putting himself in a position where where we can follow up and kill. What? He shadow bounce and then takes a shot? What a joke. This year was a, a big mockery. Nice. Yeah, keep 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 fighting back, guys. Hit these archons. And got shit on you. All right, Edwin is taking damage left and right. That's that's good. And this here in particular is good because that's the one that we need to kill this turn. Two, four, six. I need to get all the way to here, and you guys are standing in my way. Good. Still can't do it because Shadowbound Body is in the way. Yes, good cover from other directions, so that's really the most sensible play. And let's take him out. No longer a threat. Shadowbone problem gone. We're going to see what what we will do here. VIP takes a safe stance uh, there. No one is injured yet. Good 
but I think we're every single one of us is one slot away from making it out here. Two, four, six. Free action reload. And that could be an execution. It's not, but it could be. Okay, they are hitting, and they are hitting hard. More losses are soon going to come. In the meantime, more of them are swarming in. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take one of you guys out, just so there's less moving around. Enemy down. And I think we can safely make it to the exit. Alright, I think everybody can. Under the guise of a lost infestation in all of the fighting that was going on, XCOM successfully snuck out, knowing that they would not have the power nor the will or the technology to withstand that onslaught. Thanks to the losts that were covering their retreat, Everybody made it out unharmed. That's how the narration of uh, this particular mission would go. No matter the cost. Well, we made it out just in time. Fantastic. We got another engineer. Excellent. Might as well staff him here. Good job. Even more energy. We're running a massive energy surplus. Priority message coming through. End of the month. It on now. You have made considerable progress against oh boy. Soul Stealer. I knew it would happen. Your ongoing efforts will only lead to Additional dark event. More likely, okay, he increases training and a sabotage. Yeah, okay, good. Return fire, we don't want that. Uh, this here is bad, but if we could uh, get the entire world before it happens, it's actually not that bad. This does not mean anything, and yeah. It sucks, we, we have no good other alternatives here good no can't do that can't do that can't do that will plus three and between the eyes that's a good one soldier captured high what well, we could hmm. this is actually a really 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 good one and dodge plus eight isn't bad either roby where are you 
wounded for seven days. Well, that fits our timeline well, doesn't it? Because we could do a between the eyes. Use some of our less often used rookies. Bastard and Ataxia. And yeah, we still have an ambush, but that's fine. Let's give them some basic gear. That looks good. That looks good. And that looks good. And his spell brother. Takes one mimic beacon and a nanomed kit. And I think we're more than well equipped for that mission. Between the eyes is for the first time something that actually really works well for us. Sorted loot could be anything. So now that we got contact possibility, let's make it to here. We got Intel 24. We're going to do that in a second. Soon we're going to get 100 Intel from our research. <laughs> okay, superior scope for the first time. Oh, the second time. Take a deep breath, Saiken. Only took you like 11 months. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm already seeing a, a UFO happening. That is not a good idea. For West Africa. See you later. I don't want to be hunted by the UFO. We'll get that intel regardless and I can buy that. And it'll take seven days. Negative traits removed. That's good. Good. We're just continuously removing negative traits, which is in the best interest. Long live the resistance. Very good. Okay, the moment that we got Intel, which is going to be in one day, that's going to be fine. Let's get that that loot, which could be a blaster rocket or anything else. Uh oh oh uh oh no no let's get anywhere but north america avenger plotting new course okay we also don't want to waste time how about we're getting those supplies here? Twenty-four intels destroyed. Well, we need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more time to. I am, why are we getting those VIP missions? I do not want to fight those highly timed missions that is that's stupid oh codex sectorport trooper purifier officer lancer elite priest purifier officer lancer shield bearer priest like it's only codex and sectorport but that's a lot of firepower the sectorport and it's likely going to be the hunter Annoying us on this mission again. Okay, let's fly over. 
for the Mexican regional track. I am fully aware that we're soon going to be shut down as well. The game is just not giving us a break. We'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Okay, well, I ho I was hoping that the datapad decryption is done by now. It's not. It seems to be on the last day. So we're going to get a lot of intel. If we're successful, we're going to uh, get about 200 intel. It's another really tight uh, VIP mission, which I don't appreciate. Those are incredibly if incredibly dense i i don't like playing them but we should maybe i can pull it off who knows um after that we have enough intel let's not get shot down let's make contact get the superior scope upgrade the weapons a tiny bit and yeah that really should be it That really should be it for now. Okay, thanks guys for watching. I truly appreciate uh, your viewership. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, what you think about the run and just how intense it seems at, at the end. Uh, we're on our way to research uh, the, the last uh, little bit here, which is the recovered uh, stasis suit. And I would also want to do the mission with uh, with a psionic gate and uh, with that hopefully the actual avatar and that means it's only one research after the avatar um, away from actually getting to the last mission so it is it is inside not in reach yet but inside thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it see you the next time bye bye